Nowadays, I spend my time mainly painting. I have an exhibition coming up. Uh, generally speaking, I spend more time painting than doing anything else, except for writing. Um, I, I, I've been writing pieces for some, some pieces connected with DLD, uh, where I got to meet Frank Schirmacher, who's been associated with the meeting for some time, and is an editor and publisher at the Frankfurter Algerman et cetera, and a remarkable guy. So um, I agreed to write a series of pieces uh, for them. And um, he's a wonderful guy. And I think Europe is, um, Europe is more interested in the, in the implications as opposed to the immediate uh, uh, market meaning of technology. I mean, I don't think people are not better educated or more thoughtful or anything that's different. They've just got a somewhat different focus, I think, growing out of the nature of the European market and uh, uh, the origin of so much of the technology in the United States gives them uh, uh, one degree of remove, which I think is useful. There's a lot of thoughtful people over there. Well, let's see. This is the latest of a series of exhibits at Yale, which is a good place for me to exhibit. Um, um, I, I like to sell paintings not from galleries, but in a more informal one-on-one -on -one way. And so to, a non-commercial gallery space in which to exhibit is for me very useful. Um, I, I mainly... Um, I've been trying for uh, many years, I guess I should say many decades at this point, uh, to figure out uh, what Jewish art is, if there is such a thing. Um, uh, it's come to seem to me that Jewish art uh, is paintings of words, uh, uh, not just paintings in which words appear uh, or words on a wall, but uh, uh, paintings in which the words themselves have uh, have meaning and decorative significance and um, uh, conceptual weight. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to describe an image, especially one that isn't, uh, that is somewhat idiosyncratic, but anyway, general idea. Genetically, to begin with, um, what I do uh, is think of pictures. I mean, my own my own uh, job description is uh, is an image thinker, as many people have been, and uh, whatever I do is a matter of uh, the images that uh, that float through my head. Again, there, are, there are many people think in images. It's hard to say uh, how many. Certainly, everybody thinks in images some of the time. Uh, many people think in images virtually all the time. When I'm when I'm working in software, I'm thinking of a picture that needs to appear on the screen or that needs to appear, appear in the user's head in order to make sense of software. In, a st in the studio, more directly, I, I try and take what, as any painter does, as any artist does, tries to take what is in his head and make it concrete, which is a constant, uh, uh, which is a struggle, which isn't easy, but that's what art has always been about. Um, I, when I write, I tend to uh, to write vividly or to try to write vividly, and um, it's also a matter of the images that drift through one's head. Uh, so this is the way I uh, deal with the world, picture-wise. <laughs>